Dawn Chorus is one of the newer Warlock pieces of exotic armor introduced in Beyond Light, and it takes the already lethal Solar Warlock subclass and makes it even more deadly. Plus, we're getting Light subclass improvements coming in Season 15, so now is the perfect time to pick up Dawn Chorus and get ready for that Solar buff. Well, if you're new around here and find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Dawn Chorus is all about adding burns to your solar super and making sure those burns last longer. So this is going to add damage to your Warlock's output, making you lethal in both PvP and PvE too. Well, Rise of Ember is the main perk found on Dawn Chorus. And this is all about improving the lethality of the Daybreak super and keeping up that melee charge as much as possible. So looking at the Rite of Ember, it says... Your Daybreak projectiles cause targets to burn on contact and deal more damage to them. All of your burn effects last longer and you gain a small amount of melee energy each time one of your burns damages a target. So with all the burn effects lasting longer, this is going to provide more melee energy and this works really well in combination with your Daybreak sword or burning melee. Basically, each time you burn your enemies, you get some melee energy back. You're also going to get more damage on the Daybreak projectiles, meaning enemies better get out of your way Otherwise, they are going to burn and die very, very quickly. So looking at the benefits here of Dawn Chorus, this is going to mainly benefit Dawnblade Warlocks the most. You're not really going to get any benefits as a middle tree solar warlock or in the Well of Radiance. Now, it's either going to be best as top tree or bottom tree, but Dawn Chorus increases the damage output of the Dawnblade super. However, bottom tree Dawnblade is going to benefit the most. You already have built-in burn abilities on your melee, and this is only going to be enhanced, plus the extra damage on the blades means more enemies die faster. So top tree, Attunement of Sky, has been a favourite for some time, given the Celestial Fire, and also the movement speed given to you by Icarus Dash. However, for PvE players, Dawn Chorus and its benefits with bottom tree, Attunement of Flame, well this could be a great move for their extra damage output. Plus, Bungie has some plans for a buff coming in Season 15, but more on that in a minute. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get Dawn Chorus in Destiny 2. So Dawn Chorus is one of the newer exotic pieces of armor introduced in Beyond Light, specifically in Season 12. And previous to Beyond Light, these newer armor pieces being introduced, exotic armor was acquired at random through exotic engrams or campaign story content. Well, now we've got a way to target farm exotic armor pieces through Legend and Master Lost Sector. So if you complete these activities solo, then there's a chance at the exotic armor to drop for you. So every day... The Legend, which is currently 1310, and the Master, which is currently 1340, those Lost Sectors rotate, with two available each day across Europa, the Cosmodrome, the Moon, the Tangled Shore, and also the EDZ2. Well, as well as the location for the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors rotating, the rewards rotate too with different armor pieces for head, arms, chest, and also legs. Now, if you want to check the location for the rewards, then you can do so in-game by completing the Lost Sectors on the regular difficulty and then checking the map. And the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors are indicated as a blue shield icon. Well, another good way to check out the location and the loot is a tool called todayindestiny.com. This will quickly tell you what the location is, plus what the reward is too. A massive shout out to todayindestiny.com, one of the most useful tools I use in the Destiny community. Really, really good stuff. Definitely check it out. Well, to get Dawn Chorus, you want to look out for the exotic head reward. Then, if you complete that Legend or Master Lost Sector solo, as a Warlock, you'll have a chance for that reward. If you don't get it the first time, keep trying, and you'll get it after a few tries. Well, next up, let's have a look at a Dawn Chorus Warlock PvE build. So I'm going to put together a solar-focused Dawn Chorus Warlock PvE build, and this one is a whole lot of fun, I tell you that. So first of all, let's have a look at these subclass. We're using Bottom Tree Solar Warlock, which is the Attunement of Flame. So this one comes with Igniting Touch. So strike an enemy with this melee ability to burn them and cause them to explode when killed. We got fated for the flames, the daybreak projectiles seek the targets as they travel and upon impact launch a streak of deadly flames. We've got everlasting fire, so killing an enemy with daybreak increases its duration. And finally, phoenix dive, so activate while midair to quickly descend and restore your health. And when daybreak is active, descent causes explosive damage. So next up, looking at the weapons, for my Kinetic, I'm using the 7th Seraph of Carbine. So this is a legendary auto-rifle which helps generate Warmind cells, and you can get it from Banshee 44 or World Drops. For my energy weapon, I'm using Sunshot, 
This is an exotic energy hand cannon. You can get this one from Zoo or random exotic engrams. This one is an exotic solar hand cannon. Really, really good for generating wall mine cells in combination with a mod. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And then for the power weapon, I'm using Solar Scar. This is a legendary solar power sword. You can get this one from Trials. Well, finally then, let's have a look at the mods. I'm using Wrath of Rasputin, so Solar Splash Damage Final Blows have a chance to create wall mine cells. I'm using Elemental Charge, so become charged with light by picking up an Elemental Well, and if the Elemental Well's element matches a subclass element type, you gain two stacks of charge with light. I'm using Elemental Ordnance, so defeating combat with a grenade, spawns an Elemental Well that matches a subclass energy type, and finally Final Wisdom, so picking up an Elemental Well that matches a subclass energy, grants you a temporary significant increase to your intellect, improving the recharge rate of your super. It basically gives you a plus 50 intellect boost for 30 seconds, so that's really going to help you get that super back nice and quickly. I'm also using Lucent Blade, so basically that means more damage with swords when charged with light. So putting that build together, run around, give it a go, it's really, really good fun. But it is also worth noting there's changes coming to Bottom Tree Dawnblade in Season 15 of Destiny 2. So here's what Bungie had to say on the 5th of August 2021 about Bottom Tree Dawnblade. So this tree has felt a little bit lacklustre when compared to the Warlock's other options to have given it some enhanced functionality. So like Reverend Shatter Dive, Phoenix Dive can now dive down diagonally in the direction of your choosing. So Bottom Tree Dawnblade also has one of the weaker melee attacks in the game. You have to defeat an enemy with a melee impact to cause an explosion. So with this new rework, any time you defeat an enemy is burning or defeat an enemy with your solar abilities, they will explode and put a burn on nearby enemies. So your charge melee deals 120 damage and puts burn on the enemy, meaning you can follow up with another lethal attack and still get that explosion. So as a side note, this will be even more effective with the Dawn Chorus Exotic Helmet. So this build is definitely worth revisiting in Season 15. I reckon it's pretty good now, but in Season 15 this is going to be absolutely insane. Well let's look at the changes, so with Phoenix Dive, reduce delay before the dive starts, and now you can input a direction to dive in that direction too. Then we've got Igniting Touch, so ability rework, solar ability kills and kills on burning targets, now cause targets to explode and burn other nearby enemies, who will also explode if they die while burning. So really, really deadly build this one and put it all together, especially with the weapons as well. Sunshot is absolutely explosive if you can create warmind cells too. And together with Solar Scar, that solar power sword, well, you are just going to be throwing fire left, right and centre. And basically everything's going to explode and die. Well, let me know what you think of Dawn Chorus down there in the comments. Plus, if you've got any improvements to the build, share them with the community. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get Dawn Chorus plus a Warlock PvE build. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.